This is really easy. In this video, I'll show you the easiest way to record your iPad or iPhone's screen, and at the end, I'll show you how to share those recordings on your socials. First off, you want to add the screen recording feature to your iPad or iPhone's control center. Control center is the settings and controls that appear when you swipe down from the top right corner of your screen on iOS and iPadOS. On iPad, I'll swipe down to open control center, then tap on this plus icon. Next, I'll tap on Add a Control at the bottom here. I can select from any of these controls or search for one specifically with the search bar. Screen recording is right here, so I'll tap on it to select it. It appears in the menu here and I can move its position by tapping and holding on it and then dragging it. or I can resize the control by tapping and dragging on the highlighted edge. On iPhone, this works in exactly the same way. Now I can just swipe down from the top right of my screen to access Control Center, tap the screen record icon, wait for the countdown, and the screen recording will start. To stop recording, I can reopen Control Center and tap again on the screen recorder icon. My captured video will then save to my Photos app. If that's all you came to learn, then thanks so much for watching, and make sure to give that like button a wee tickle on your way out. Cheers. If you want to learn how to share your screen recordings to social media platforms, etc., stick around. If you're a regular watcher of this channel, and if you're not, well, you know where that subscribe button is. You'll likely want to use screen recording to capture your GarageBand or Logic Pro for iPad projects so you can share them. It's quicker and easier than going through the export process, plus social media algorithms are more likely to show a video to people than a static MP3 file, for example. Plus, by sharing a video of your project, you're letting music nerds like me see what instruments, sounds, and plugins, etc. you're using. Whether you're uploading to Facebook, Blue Sky, Reddit, or... X. The process is pretty much the same. I'll demo this on Facebook as it does have some of the better GarageBand and Logic Pro groups out there. So I've screen captured this Logic Pro for iPad project. Before I upload it to the excellent Logic Pro for iPad users group, link in the description, I want to edit it a little by trimming out the start before the song starts playing and where the control center is visible. To do this, I need to open my Photos app and tap on my screen recording. Next, I'll tap on the settings icon here, and on the next screen, I can tap and hold on the handles here to move the starting point of my video and cut out the bits I don't want. I'll hit done to save it, and it's ready to upload. To share my recording to this Facebook group, I'll tap on this icon, you may need to grant access to your Photos app, select my screen recording, and hit here to upload. I'll write a short post about the song I'm uploading to. I'll hit here, and it's done. Once the video has uploaded, it will be live for other group members to see. Let me know if you use iPad or iPhone's screen recording, or if you plan to, down in the comments. And again, give that like button a slap while you're down there. I really appreciate it, and it helps more people see this video. But we're not done yet. If you want to know how to create and edit a ringtone on your iPhone or iPad, watch this video next.